Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a new cigar from Punch and General Cigar, celebrating their 180th anniversary. Appropriately enough, named the Punch 180. Nice big cigar, seven and a quarter by 54. Hmm, has a nice feel in the hand. There's the density. Now, this is a little late because uh, actually 2020 was the 180th uh, anniversary, but better late than never. And I didn't realize, maybe I should have, but Punch was originally created in 1840 as a cigar to export to the United Kingdom. Didn't know that. Uh, nowadays it's made in Honduras, of course. And this cigar uses a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, also a Connecticut Broadleaf binder. And uh, the filler is Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Honduran. The only size that is produced is this seven and a quarter by 54. Comes in 10 count boxes if you're interested now. Uh, punch is very, very, very hit and miss with me with some of their releases but uh let's check this one out the punch 180 all right let's give this nice dome cap a clip here does that sound again does that sound good really 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 does Check the lighter. All right. All right. Well, I'm only a minute and a half in, and I can tell you, you get the flavors very fast. Nice sweet apricot with underlying or mixed in citrus notes. So it's very tangy and sweet. Brown sugar, nutmeg, honey, very pronounced honey note, very sweet. And a little black coffee at the base. Uh, black pepper at seven, initially anyway. It's going to be a nice long cigar. Might be fun. But it's really a good start. It's plenty sweet. It's, um, it has a little of everything. The black coffee base gives it a nice base, but uh, a lot of sweet notes with apricot and citrus and honey, brown sugar. It's a very good start. third it's very much like it started however the only real difference is the nutmeg is a little more pronounced and it's very creamy and smooth still have the apricot citrus the honey brown sugar black coffee everything's about the same except that the nutmeg is a little more pronounced and it's very smooth it's not a bad taste at all Finish is uh, apricot and citrus with a little nutmeg and pretty good lingering black pepper. Medium bodied. One thing I noticed is for having a Connecticut uh, broadleaf uh, binder and wrapper, I'm not getting a lot of that type of flavor. Doesn't matter. Just a, something I noticed. But the cigar is very tasty right now. It's nice and sweet. Very smooth with that creamy nutmeg and a nice base. I'm going 93 for the first third. Very impressive cigar. And look at the burn time. 41 minutes out of the first third. We're going to get a good burn time out of it. So let's move on and see what the second third has. Into the second third. 
And, you know, we are way into the cigar, an hour and 22 minutes. And it really hasn't changed a whole lot. It is a little earthier. Um, the notes are still there. It's still quite an enjoyable cigar. I'm, I'm really not going to uh, hurt it much with this with the score. The earthiness is is a little deterrent. Medium body, maybe leaning toward medium to full. Finish is unchanged. It's not a lot changed in the cigar. It is a little earthier now. So I'm going to go 92 for the second third. It's just ever so slightly hurt by the earthiness, but um, you know, not much. So there's not much else to say. It hasn't changed a lot, just a little earthier. So let's just move on. It's quite a long cigar and you get a lot of bang for your buck. So let's see what the final third has. down to the end so let's wrap it up two hours it's good burn time now these are 14 and a quarter a piece but you get a great burn time out of it and here in the final third the notes sort of changed a little bit but it didn't hurt it because they got more of a citrus note citrus and creamy nutmeg brown sugar black coffee medium to full body the citrus notes are very nice, by the way. Finish is pretty much unchanged. It's got a little more nutmeg on it, a little earthiness, but it's, it's by and large unchanged. But the cigar took a little turn upward because it got sweeter with those citrus notes. And that was uh, a nice uh, addition. I would go back to 93 for the final third. This is... <laughs> This is a very good cigar from Punch. I'm impressed with it. I like it. It's a great burn time. And you need to go as slow as I did to make sure you get these flavors. And I go just as slow as you just about can. Overall score is 92.67. Very good. Very good. I would suggest you give it a try. Might be at the upper end of what you call... Your price range, I don't know, but uh, well worth trying. So there you have it. The Punch Anabasario 2021, which I affectionately refer to as the Punch 180. 92.67. <music>